Hello, so it's one of the hottest days of the year. It's like 27 degrees. I've got a new camera ah! and I've come to Cheddar Gorge to check out the gorge. I've been here before, but not with a camera. Try out the camera, number two. Number three, there's a storm brewing. Maybe we'll get some thunder and lightning if we're lucky. Stop for a little water break because it is sweltering today. What are the goals of today? Come out this evening, haven't done a sunset in a long time and it's looking like it might be a good one, especially if it then turns into a thunderstorm, hopefully far away from me. The goals of today are to just test out the EOS R. Um, it's really my first time using it properly and I'm going to try and keep it fresh. I'm going to try and keep it so it's not just all about like how does it compare to the 5D2 because I kind of want it to stand on its own but inevitably I'm going to be making comparisons to the 5D2 so this video is first and foremost um, a review of the EOS R but I'm going to try and use it in context because sitting in a room and reviewing a camera and that don't work that doesn't make any sense it's like I don't know sitting in a garage and reviewing a car let's go and use the camera and then I'll tell you what I think all right water break over let's get to the top before I miss the sunset completely So I've been doing a bit of filming already with the camera, um, just a bit of B-roll. It's just, it's just leaps and bounds better than the 5D2. There was a, a little slow worm or grass snake or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and with the 5D2, it would have been a case of getting the camera out. It would have been manually focusing. I would have had to da 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 da. But with the EOS R, I just knew that the camera could handle it. I knew that it was just going to be a case of point the camera, frame it, get the exposure right and just start filming and the camera would do all the rest with regards to the focusing. That is so big. I can't stress enough how many times in the past I've missed a shot because the video wasn't correct. When you have the camera and you know the camera's just gonna get everything right first time, that is huge. Another thing as well that I've noticed is obviously when I'm filming on the 5D2, I would always use the screen. I'm never, I'm never looking through the viewfinder. Same with the ESR. That's fine. It works really well. The screen is very, very good. It makes everything I shoot look like Scorsese level quality. That's a joke, by the way. Then I went to take a photograph, and I immediately went to look in the viewfinder, and I realised that that's like a habit that I have. Taking a picture using purely the screen, it just feels unnatural. It's going to be something I get used to, I'm sure, but. There's just some rocks in the foreground here with the reservoir in the background that I wanted to shoot. Holding the camera in front of me to take that picture. It felt like I didn't care. It felt like I wasn't trying. Like I was just grabbing a snapshot. Oh, another thing before I go, actually, the screen that I can see myself in is huge. I can just frame myself properly. Now you can see my beautiful figure filling up a correct amount of the frame rather than just guessing. The sun's going down. God, look at that. I mean, you can't because the exposure's all messed up. I'll get a proper shot of it in a second. I only go and precariously venture out onto the edge of a rock, see if I can shoot down into the gorge itself.
so the sunset isn't exactly doing what I want. It's setting like right over here. Um, when ideally I'd want it setting like, over there. The gorge is, it's ridiculous. It's, you're so high up. I, I didn't realize it was going to be like this. When you, you look over the edge, it's kind of like breathtaking because it's really, it's really far down. It's very cool though. We're going to go and have a look. The sun's going down now. There's not really that much of an opportunity for a shot. So yeah, go and find a spot and hopefully try not to fall off the cliff. The shot I'm going for is straight down the canyon. I've got my wide angle lens at 17 to 40 and shooting at f11, currently at shutter speed, one fourth of a second, ISO 160 on the EOS R. So it's a bit of a struggle actually using this camera. Um, I'm looking for settings that I'm so used to being exactly where I want them to be on the 5D and they're just not in the same place. So I'm kind of having a faff about with trying to find everything, which when the light is changing as quickly as it is, is a bit of a bit of a pain. But so what I'm waiting for now is for all of the people who come for a jolly drive down the canyon to keep their headlights on and see if I can get some nice, classic, cliched long exposures from Cheddar Gorge. So, over here, we have lightning, which hopefully isn't going to be here. The sun's gone down, and wander back over to the cliff edge. The canyon in and of itself is just amazing because the fact that you've got that man-made structure of the road leading you, guiding you through the, the canyon, just, it gives it that edge. So this is really the ultimate test of the EOS R sensor that I was hoping for. Um, I'm shooting directly down into the gorge, uh, but you have a little bit of sky interest as the sun sets. The sky is still several stops brighter than the gorge itself. It's really gonna be a testament to how well the sensor deals with that difference in exposure um, and, and how much the dynamic range can allow you to bring back the shadows and, and bring down the highlights and just see how much detail is, is actually retained. So I've switched gears a little bit because this lightning storm is kicking off over to the, I believe it's the north, and I'm just filming it. Let's see if I can pull a few frames from it. Uh, it's not particularly, it's still quite bright out, so trying to shoot the, uh, trying to shoot the lightning in stills is, is a bit of a challenge, and I'm not doing very good. But, whew, pretty special storm. sacked off trying to get the lightning just because it was way too bright and you couldn't catch the streaks properly. So I'm shooting a long exposure down into the canyon and as the cars are driving up their headlights are sort of painting the light through which makes for a really nice image. You've got the leading line directing you right to the background which is the village and then you've got the reservoir and the lights and stuff like that. This video ended up being a lot longer than I initially expected it to be. 
I wanted to show the camera being used in the field and then come back and discuss it and review it but that ended up being way too long so I'm going to split that into a separate video and pop the link in the description. If you've enjoyed this video go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to see more content hit the subscribe button and if you want to mindlessly scroll past my photos on Instagram then follow me at Sean underscore DTP and if you want to see the review then go ahead and click the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day.